So guys, it's been about a week since Lulu died over the field, walking my other dog Doobree. Uh, She's been sorely missed, man. Uh, the missus has been really cut up about it. Uh, we've all had a little bit of time to heal and uh, we've got ashes coming our way uh, from the vets, which we're gonna put into a nice urn and stuff. Um, yeah, man, I'm gonna be getting back into the music now and focusing on that once we put that behind us. Um, you know, Lulu's gone, but she will never be forgotten. Uh, beautiful day. Walking me little Staffy. You know, these dogs, man, they mean a lot to you. You know, uh, you know your pets, you, you, your kids grow up with them. My kids have you know, had these pets from since they were like eight and, and six. My oldest, I think she was about eight, and uh, we bought uh, Lulu as a present for them. Uh, thought we'd make the perfect birthday show Christmas present, and uh, they've grown up with the dogs ever since. And uh, you know, Lulu's given us a lot of love, man. She's given us a lot of, you know, a lot of cuddles, and she's a great dog. And uh, dogs become part of your family, and pets are, you know, I've said this before, man. Like we really, really did feel that, man. But you know, I've, I feel that. Um, us making the decision for Lulu uh, was was the best thing because rather than uh, her dying in a you know from in agony, um, you know she was having seizures and she, her, her her nerves in her neck were touching something was going on something was touching her brain or you know something was touching her nerves and she was she just went really stiff um, and. She, she was making this loud noise and she just you could tell that she was out of it while and had no control over her muscles while it was going on and you know she's really spazzing out and uh you know it was really scary for us to see that and um you know that was the final straw you know uh tash told me about it and uh, you know i actually witnessed it for myself and and you know from that point is where we decided that you no know, man you know she's she's you know lulu's scared of a little pin a little needle you know she couldn't even take her vaccinations when she was a pup like let alone that sort of thing and you know she she i think lulu was just trying to be strong for us man and trying to be here for us because that's what that's what dogs do they they're here for you they give you they give us something they teach us stuff that we don't even know and dogs understand us on a psychological level you know they they're so in sync with you and they understand the human they understand that um you know how we breathe and when we're stressed and 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 they know that we have a daily routine and they nag you at 6 p.m every day after work that dog nags me when it's time to go home she knows it's time to go home you can see she's acting like she wants to go out the door and they're in sync man they don't need an alarm clock to get up they get up every single day you know at the right time and they give us a focus you, you take them out you look after them and it's really really distressful when the dog goes you know our whole family we you know we were all gathered together we gathered around we, we went to the vet and uh you know we, we we stayed with her hugging her up while she was dying and while they gave her an injection and the the, the um they gave her the same injection they used to put them to sleep when they're having an operation but instead the vet told us he gave her five times the amount so she you know she died peacefully or she, in her mind she was just going to sleep and you know as I say, she's she's gone to heaven, um, and she she's in a better place. So it's better than her being here suffering. So guys, you know it's been very 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 stressful. Now we're trying to find out about uh, different keepsakes. We're going to have a cremated, and uh, we're going to get a nice little uh, beautiful looking urn. Um, nothing that looks creepy. Just a nice. There's some nice options out there where you can just get a nice little urn for your mantelpiece. Um, and uh, you know we're gonna get the ashes and keep hold of her and she'll be in our hearts and our mind forever and uh, Incredible dog man, you know, we've had so many nicknames for her I remember some of the nicknames he started off with the name angel when we first got her, but it weren't really sitting well with us and um, Then I we well, I wouldn't take the credit for it. We call started calling her Lulu because she really did look like a Lulu um, and you know when you when you love some think or someone or you you know you tend to give them nicknames i remember another nickname was shibalinga we was calling a little shibalinga for a little while uh and uh she was um that was taken from uh indiana jones the movie just sounded cool little good nice little ring to it but it just it suited her they came from 
and uh boy anyway uh you know i hope this helps anybody who's going through pet loss right now you know that's the whole reason why i'm doing these uploads is you know i'm going through it and maybe somebody else who's suffering from the same thing or has suffered or is affected by the topics of this video may find it useful man something to look and take your mind off it for a while because you know after this has happened now you know we've, we've still got to move on we take our dog out we took our uh, other dog out over the field uh, noodles uh, again um, you know Dubri nickname um, and uh, you know it's really strange like not going over the field not having Lulu with us uh, coming home not having Lulu there uh, you know we take her everywhere with us it just seems really bad and you know the girls are really teary right now and, and you, know, you know I myself we're all teary um, you know, I'm, I'm just about to go to the gym, man. I just need to just run and I need to just lift some weights and I need to just de-stress de this out and listen to some beats. And for me, that's how I do it. That's my outlet. But for them, man, I, you know, I just say I dedicate this to you and everyone else out there who, who doesn't have an outlet, man, and, you know, who needs something to, to, to relate to, to be able to, you know, take their mind off of things. So, as I said, I'm uploading as much as I can and I'm going to put a lot of, because there's a lot of vlogs, a lot of uh, recordings that I didn't actually upload and it was a sequence of events. I know you guys just saw a little um, clip uh, that was, uh, you know, 10 days ago and that's what I only uploaded yesterday. So I'm going to be gathering up all that footage, man, and I'm just going to put that on my Facebook for anyone who wants to look at it and everything and anyone who wants to go through see what we you know we went through and check out the sequence of events that led to this she went for a lot we gave her herbs i gave her reishi mushrooms we bought cbd oil um and i'm not saying none of these things don't work but what i will say is that we gave her steroids the vet recommended steroids we put her on the steroids but what i feel that we should have done really is put her on the alternative medicine first to see if that took effect in any way shape or form because the reason why i thought we should have done that is because I read up on one of these deep health things, uh, vet, veterinary uh, websites and also some YouTube videos that the steroids shut the immune system off and you need in your immune system to fight the cancer because all the successful versions of it, uh, you know, they they fight the, they, they have, had, have used um, the immune system plus the herbs because that's what helps the, to enhance the immune system to be able to cope with it. And also, you know, the CBD oil, we got it from Holland and Barra, um, you know, and it's good. You know, we tried it ourselves. It, it does make you chill. It feels, makes you feel relaxed uh, and, and and more bright and alert during the day. And I guess it's helping us to cope through, helping me to cope through this time. But um, I'll, I'll say that you know, there's obviously real cannabis oil was an option that I saw. There was a guy who had a staffy on YouTube, um, and he used real cannabis oil, not CBD. And he reckons that he cured his dog with that and some other diet. Uh, but obviously in the UK that is just a no-go you know you need to make that I watch a YouTube video even and it, it, you need 20 was it 20 grams of flipping cannabis and you'd have to flipping that's like I don't know an ounce or whatever it is I don't even know man like it's a but it's a whole leap and you have to cook it and imagine that you smell like you smell it'd be like okay, going down breaking bad route and I just thought you know what that's just madness man it should be legal man I, you know I hope, you know I'm not trying to advocate any kind of upgrade uproar or anything like that but you know these are things man this is all i'm just sharing what we went through and the scenario and uh guys um i just want to thank you guys for all the support and you know and leaving your comments down below you know i'd like to hear from you guys i'd like to hear about your pets um and, and what you went through and you know feel free to comment down below and use this video as a means of you know venting and and, and helping you know each other to get through yeah and another thing i wanted to say as well is like you know uh, lulu's death dying of cancer is, is an eye-opener to the cancer out there man and someone does know someone near to them most people do know people near to them that have suffered from cancer some way shape or form and you know i don't want to you know my dog i don't want it to go in vain I, i'm definitely going to keep this on board and try and to have a much more uh, healthier lifestyle you know they say things cause cancer is anything from perfume spraying directly on your skin you know little tips like don't spray it on your skin spray it on your clothes the food we eat contains lots of preservatives and you know the food we eat is bad for you it contains things that you know we're not supposed to eat Sh sugars aspartame as if i said that right you know the, the artificial sweetener you know 50 times or 10 times uh, sweeter than um sugar that's made from insects 
you know they say can the two things that feed cancer is sugar and protein you know you know but all i know is things like for me diet coke pepsi all that kind of soft drinks uh stuff high in sugar man i'm just going to stay away from that and live a better lifestyle and 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 maybe you know next year do a cancer run or something man you know paris said she didn't deserve to go that way and and i'll say yeah she didn't deserve to go that way but you know at least we sent her off with love all around her together in the vets and you know she passed away and went to sleep and she didn't go in agony you know they gave her five times the dose she need she was needed uh, to put her to sleep just so that she went peacefully and uh, I'd rather her go with all of her family around her giving her lots of love and cuddles on the way out and yeah it it was sad man I'm not gonna lie it was super sad seeing that happen and yeah